Uh, plans that I had in the future I remember I was thinking about babies Whether a boy or girl and what we would name it It hurts we never made it I just assumed that you lied when you told me you never leave me Cause you deceived me, you so misleading my heart Hey guys, how you doing? It's been a while I know Um, I just got a little mail call for some claim sales that I did Uh, about two weeks ago I finally everything came in And I just figured I'd make a little video Cause it's been so long And I was dying to make a new one so let's get into it um well first of all i messed up and i got a couple books from um comic exposure which i don't know if anybody has used comic exposure but they're a good company and all it's just they take months to get you your product i mean i live in missouri and i know that they're based in new york i'm pretty sure so i know it might take a little bit to you know distribute i'm sure they have a lot of people they distribute to but um it's just one of those companies that you know i order from and then i completely forget about it because it takes so long to get my books back and so i got a box from comic exposure and i was so confused on what i could have got from them because it's been so long but I had, so I had to open the box. I just had to. And I know that's a big no, no. If you're making videos, unboxing stuff, you never unbox anything without the camera being on, but you know how it goes. I'm a little rusty. It's been a while, but, uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys what I got anyway. Um, this first one is a variant of Vampirella. I can't pronounce the guy's name. I don't think it's a Kyung variant and it was limited to 300 um weird thing is i didn't get us it said something about a certificate of authenticity but i did not end up getting one and i also ordered a future state teen titans it's the first appearance of uh the red x in comic books and i already own like four copies of it it was kind of like i said one of those orders that you just forget about it's like a backup order and uh so i'm glad i got all my books though thankfully and then um i just got two packages from claim sales that i did uh i did one through instagram with this guy who i've never uh, went through before his name's um elite comics i'll put a link in the um, description but really cool guy like uh hit me up about books that i might need um yeah, just overall very pleasant experience. Uh, I was it was really cool um, doing business with them. But I so I'm hoping this is gonna be the first one that I open. Yeah, yeah, it should be this one. But uh, yeah, he didn't he didn't have that many people in the stream, so um, it was really chill, you know, slow. Um, Cause you know most of the time I get in with claim sales with people who have about a hundred people minimum and they try going through the book so quickly and i'll be at work half the time because i work on the weekends and it's like hey dude i need more information before i make this purchase i know you're trying to get through but you know it's whatever it was just nice to have a um a little change of pace as far as claim sales go you know talk the talk it with the dude out and you know, negotiate stuff and pretty much get to pick what, I mean, like, he's basically asking what he, people wanted, like, to see next and all that shit. Like, that was really nice. Really nice. Really nice, like, supporting a local store almost is one of those kind of feelings, you know what I'm saying? Like, just helping a brother out. Okay, let's see what we got. I can't remember exactly what books. I'm pretty sure I got a spawn and a catwoman. I'm pretty sure. But we're both gonna find out together, so one second. He did it. Okay, but let's take a moment to applaud the pack job, dude. Like for real. On top of the typical, you know, three-way folder that most people do, army four-way folder that most people do. He's got this layer of bubble wrap with another piece of cardboard backing it and painter's tape. That's a fucking A plus right there. Painter's tape is way better than scotch tape as far as unboxing, which most people don't consider because they're more concerned about the 
packing than the unpacking. But very nice, very good job on this. Why does that happen every time I make a video? Every time I make a video, my computer is telling me about the virus detection. I don't, I don't need, I don't need it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, badass. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is an Adam Hughes cover. It is Catwoman number 76, Adam Hughes cover, gorgeous. If you know me, you know I love Adam Hughes. He is one of my all time favorite artists. Um, I just, you can, I don't know what it is about the faces he does, but you can almost immediately tell when it's an Adam Hughes cover. And this is another Adam Hughes cover. I didn't, I've wanted this cover for forever, but I did not realize it was Adam Hughes as well. It is Catwoman number 45. Gotta love that. Are you, <laughs> the relationship between Batman and Catwoman is something that I feel like everybody's drawn to. And I love when they depict it in like, you know, uh, uh, he is like the fear of every criminal and she is a criminal. Like I love when they throw that little dynamic in there. But uh, I also got a spawn. 21 gorgeous cover i'm trying to complete my spawn run i'm going from spawn one to um 320 i believe we're on now and i've got a lot of uh i've got all the three from like 299 up and then um i've got a good amount from one to 100 it's just 100 to 200 that i have a big gap And then also, oh, I guess he threw in a free comic. That was very sweet of him. A little thank you letter. I mean, post it. That's very sweet. Thank you, Ben. I appreciate you. And it is Spawn 22. Very nice cover as well. I love the cape. That is, Spawn is my first comic book character I ever owned. Like, first comic I ever owned. And, uh... You will always be my favorite for that cape. Todd really knew what he was doing with the just hard edges of that cape. It's so like bold and just like intimidating. I can't imagine if you saw that thing in real life. That would be a sight. Okay, now we got a package from um, the man under the red hood. I typically do claim sales with uh, them over there. They they just normally have some good books, and almost every single book I've ever got from them, I've asked for about twenty dollars off of the price they were asking, and they obliged, which is very nice of them. Um, but. I can remember. Oh, nice. They have a little, uh, I don't think I've ever got one of these before. A little shop card. That's dope. One of my favorite things that they do too is, um, they have their own grade cards that they put in the back of the book with all their information. And I always save that. Like if I buy online from pretty much anybody, I save the promotional cards or whatever they include with it just in case in the future I'm like, you know, that was a really good book and a really good deal. Where where on earth did I get that from? And theirs are so nice. They're really top of the line when it comes to their product cards. I mean, and they pack very good, obviously. They some cardboard as some cardboard as tradition and then they set the books face to face which i very much like you notice these are some pretty low grade books but that's because it is my absolute favorite comic character i know spawn is up there he is definitely up there especially because it's the first comic i ever owned but when i actually got to reading and looking into origin stories and you know all that all that jazz. Um, my favorite comic book character really quickly became Captain Marvel. Because I just love the idea, especially when I was younger, of 
a like 10 year old or however I think he's like 10 like 11 12 somewhere in there but a kid that age being able to be Superman but also a kid like you know the fact that he gets to do Superman stuff and then like go back to school you know like I can't imagine how awesome that would be so he quickly like I said became my favorite comic book character of all time and I love the look red's my favorite color and I love the lightning bolt on his chest and the white um like cape-esque thing love it so I got myself a couple Captain Marvels and and I've never actually owned a Thor book before I've never really been a big Thor fan, like uh, before the movies or after. I, I enjoy him in the movies, don't get me wrong, but he's just not a character that I'm particularly interested in. But I saw this book and I had to have it because everybody knows the classic Thor cover with uh, the Silver Surfer. The Silver Surfer's like coming in at him and he's uh, cocking back to hit him and he's got the rainbow... Uh, bridge underneath him and I've always loved the look of that so does everybody in the whole entire world so I saw this book with a little bit of rainbow bridge action which looks fantastic I know it's a low grade it's only according to them it's a 3.0 but it still presents pretty good I mean you can still see all the color in the rainbow road I mean the rainbow bridge sorry <laughs> Mario on the brain and then uh, this Zelda looking ass sword coming down on him. Like, I just, I really love this cover. I had to have it. So that's the first book we got. Second book, which once again, low grade, 3.5. But this is, these two Captain Marvels are the first Captain Marvel books I've ever owned. Oh, I'm stoked about that. Look how awesome that is. Just classic, couple of classic panels. Him versus the scientist with the voodoo doll, uh, helping people on vacation, and the mares turned into a baby. Some classic comic book panels on the front of there, and it looks gorgeous even though it's a 3.5. I mean, obviously, it's very obvious it's a 3.5. There's uh, spine ticks all over the place and all that jazz, but the color still looks pretty vibrant. And yeah, no, gorgeous. Love it. And last but not least, I actually bought an incomplete book, which I never thought I'd ever do. Ever. <laughs> um... But it's another Captain Marvel, and it's a cover that I've been trying to collect, and maybe I'll make another video about it once I have some more. But I love covers where it is the character with a devil and an angel on their shoulder version of themselves. I have one more that is a Harley Quinn cover, and it's got Harley on a both shoulder. I mean, yeah, both shoulders, and one's an angel and one's a devil, and. The one tells her to do something, the uh, devil, and the angel's like, yeah, do it. <laughs> it's like, I love that. That's such a good, um, that's such a good example of Harley's thinking process. But, and I love this one, classic, classic Captain Marvel with a classic depiction of an angel and a devil. Absolutely love it. But once again, it's incomplete. It is missing the centerfold, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, centerfold page missing. So it's only a 0.5, but still very pretty. Good looking cover. And sometimes as much as it might be a mistake, sometimes I just buy comics for the cover. That's literally my only objective. And I know there's other people, tons of people out there that do the same thing. And it may be right, may be wrong, but I dig it. I mean, you know, I have, I display them in the back and I just love the art aspect of it. You know, it's pretty neat. So uh, that's all the books that I got for today though. Just a tiny little um, claim sale haul. Um, 
I'm going to be making another manga video, I think. My buddy's been having me read a bunch more manga, and I've dived into some on my own that I've really been enjoying. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'll come at you with that video here shortly. And I have a bunch of books at CGC right now. It's just their wait times are preposterous. I haven't even... I heard that they got it, and that's the last I heard of it, and it's been a couple months, so... Whenever that comes back down the pipeline, I will push out a new video for you guys as well. So thank you for sticking around and watching my little video. If you could hit the like button, that'd be dope. If you want to subscribe, see more like this, that'd be dope as well. See you guys.